Hello once again programmers, it's Dylan. Uh, this time around we're gonna um, fix what we have and actually get the button going to do something. Right now it kinda, you know, you just click it. Nothing fancy, but we're gonna get the button working and bringing up another window. So next thing we're gonna do is make another class. And this one's going to be breakout breakout screen. All right, there we go. Which I don't know why I put that in there. All right. <clears throat> First off, I'm going to move the button because I don't like where it's placed, which it is right here set bounds um, not so far to the left let's do like 110 and 120 how about that I'm doing trial and error so uh, a little bit more up so 110 a little to the left And I do a lot of my stuff with trial and error, but whatever. Uh, that looks pretty good. Now, to get the button working, we're going to need to, like my other one, we're going to have to add action listener. Actually, no, I don't think you have to. Yeah, never mind. We're going to need to create an object here. A and then equals ae dot get source basically this code right here is gonna tell like when this is called when the button is clicked it's gonna get wherever that click was from which if we had more buttons it would be better to do this but I always do this no matter what so if a and this is a comparison operator so it's like comparing this object which we set to the get source and we're going to compare it to start button and if that's true we want to make a new um, a new uh, breakout screen and that should be good and then what we're going to do here is we want the previous J frame to disappear. So we're going to do menu screen dot. Ah, it's not letting us do that. So let's do this dot menu screen dot uh, dispose. And that basically means give up resources of the frame. So. Let's see if it works. It probably does, but we haven't done anything to title screen, so or breakout screen. Which actually we want to do this first. Um, let's just make a J frame so you can see what's going on. Uh private J frame game screen. And we're going to do all the rest of it uh, next time, but we're just going to do something so we can actually see the screen. So create the constructor breakout screen and just create game screen equals new J frame. And we're going to put for parameters breakout. I still got time. I feel like I'm being rushed, but I'm not. All right. All right. Import that. Now let's just adapt it to so a game screen. Dot set visible to true. Um, 
game screen. For now, we're going to put set size, but I'm going to take that out later. So, set size. And just put, I don't know, 300 by 300. And then, just one last thing. Game screen dot set default close operation j frame dot set or exit on close now everything should go according to plan so let's save here and see if it works uh, of course it doesn't uh, hold on for a sec um, let's see if I have to add it so this dot add action listener yeah I guess you do have to so this sometimes you don't sometimes oh that's ancestor what the hell that's not it dot add action listener oh no that's not it um hold on for a sec all right sorry about that um I just realized you have to add it to the button so start button I don't use these very much I use my own button so then you just put add action listener and this now it should work so and there we go we got our second screen which is going to be our you know screen for the actual game um next tutorial we're actually going to get into the real game stuff which first is going to be the game loop um it's going to be a little more complex than i was going to show you how to use timers but timers aren't as good as a game loop so all right well till next time programmers